Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video I want to talk about Azure Key Vault, the best place where you can store keys, password, certificates. The content inside is encrypted. But before to jump in, please subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos. Ok, let's start to explore the Azure Key Vault, how to generate secret, how to create certificate there. Ok, let's go! Here I am on my portal Azure with my Azure subscription. In order to create a new Azure Key Vault, you have to click on Create a Resource and then type in the text box Key Vault. And finally, you can start is easily here the creation of a new Key Vault. But I will not do that because I already created a Key Vault previously called POC Secrets. Let me open it. Now, the Azure Key Vault is a secure storage where you can store keys, secrets, and certificates. Keys are cryptographic keys useful to encrypt your information. Secret is the part that I will cover in this video, is the basically a password, a connection string. I'll show you this key that I previously created. There is a version for this key. This means that you can create multiple version for the same for the same secret. Here we have the URL and, and this is absolutely important because this will allow you across the REST API to collect the, the secret value. Then you can define the, when this secret will be activated, from which date. You can select also the set expiration date. Finally, you can enable or disable and then from this button you can display the, the value of this secret. In this case, I added this, this value. Now going back, it's absolutely easy to create a new, a new one. You can just type on create and finally con connection string, let's say the value it will be 666 it's already active then i will create this one so then i created a new secret here that will contain a connection string to my database i'll show you the the value here show secret value here we go this is absolutely easy to to create you can do the same from the Azure command line interface. First of all, you need to perform the, the login to your Azure subscription. I already performed this step. Then you can execute this command, a zeta key vault secret set, then the key vault name, POC secrets in my case, the name of your new secret, and then the value. If I execute this command, a new secret will be generated in my Key Vault service. So if I refresh now this page, I should have a new value here. Here we go. SQL password. And if I go in, I will able to see this value. Another important thing about Azure Key Vault is the access policies. In the access policies are listed users and applications that can access the, the Key Vault. Let's say that I have created a logic app. Let me go in this other tab in home. This one, for example. If you want to grant access to this logic app in order to read a secret stored in the Azure Key Vault, all you need to do is enable the managed identity. I already performed this step, you have to click on on and automatically a new object ID will be assigned to your application and this and this will be 
the application principle also visible in the Active Directory. So that means now that if I copy this object ID and I go back in the Azure Key Vault, I can add a new policy. There are several templates or you can perform this operation manually. I will grant access to get and list secrets for these logic apps. And then you have to select the principal. I can copy directly the object ID and immediately will pop up the logic app name. If I select now this one, select and finally add, this logic app will be granted with this permission in order to get and list Azure Key Vault secrets. You can also create certificates. I have already created one, a self-signed certificate, or you can import. Let's say that I want to create a new one. Uh, let's call it Contoso, a self-signed certificate. This will be CN equal to my domain value 12 this content type is fine for me then create so you will notice this status disabled because the creation is in progress once the status is changed to enabled you can start to to play with this certificate don't forget to allow applications or user in the access policies in order to to get and read this certificate across the REST API. All right, we have seen in this video tutorial how to create secrets and store certificates in the Azure Key Vault. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, please put a comment down below. I hope to see you next time. Bye.